spoken and phonetics for changes and adult learners. Class 3 so Zareen, what is the first activity? Again, a limestone. Limerick, right? Yeah, so, it's a limerick. Well, yeah, we learned the definition of limerick. Called, yes, we did. It, it is a five-line funny poem. Mm -hmm. And we have got some rhyming patterns like the first, second and... And fifth. Fifth line rhymes and the third and fourth also rhyme, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so can you read the rhymes for us? Yeah, sure. Please. First one is tickle a bull in the rear. <laughs> what? What does it mean? I mean, tickle means a kutu kutu there. Yeah, I know that. Okay. What is in the rear? Rear means a Oh, the bull will just kill you. <laughs> and they'll give you a big kick. <laughs> yeah, and you'll die. <laughs> yeah. If you're lacking a little good cheer, go and tickle a bull in the rear. For I'm sure that the rumor that they've no sense of humor is a product of ignorant fear. Yeah, if you want to test, you can go and yes. tickle a bull in the rear. And if you need a journey, you can, <laughs> you can get the journey. <laughs> okay, the second one is a, a tutor, tutor who, who tutored, tutored a flute. flute. This is really cute. <laughs> who tutored a flute. Yeah, he's really cute. A tutor who tutored a flute tried to teach two young tutors to toot. Said the two to the tutor, is it harder to toot or to tutor to tutors to toot? Can you, can you read this in Chinese way? A tutor who tutored a flute. No, this is Arabic, right? <laughs> okay, I'm going to say it in the Arabian style. Yeah, a tutor who tutored a flute tried to teach Two young tutors to toot. Said the two to the tutor, is it harder to tutor, to tutor, to tutors to toot? <laughs> so, Zarin, you have a real voice ta onik din por dila. Thank you very much. Uh, real eta, voice? Eh, eta, eta it's not my real voice. You tried, okay? You tried to copy the Arabian, right? Yes, I tried, yeah. but I failed. <laughs> A tutor who tutored the flute tried to teach to the young tutors to toot. Said the tutor, two to the tutors. Is it harder to toot or the tutor, two tutors to toot? This is really bad. Okay. And, the and third, I am sad. Yeah. And uh, yeah, how about the third one? There was an old man. Mm -hmm. There was an old man with a bird who said, It is just as I feared. Two owls and a hen, four larks and a wren, have all built their nests in my bed. What? Yeah, there was an old man. There was an old man he with a beard. He doesn't seem like an old man. Who said, it is just as I feared. Two owls and a hen, four larks and a wren, have all built their nests in my beard. Okay? It's so his, fear, yeah. his beard is really bushy. Yeah. How about the next activity? The longest the English long word. The right? longest English yeah. word. But do you know the longest English? The, the longest, longest, longest English word is the smiles. Longest, longest, longest. What is longest? Is the smiles because there is a mile in it. Yeah, smiles. There is a mile in it. Yeah. yeah. So you take one mile to finish this word, mm. right? But okay. real, real longest word is this one. But you never say smile. You say smile. Smiles. Is 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 uh, the uh, the Hong, no Hong Kong not Hong Kong is Thailand the people of Thai people they do this <laughs> the Thai people why do you smile so they can what say do you speak? what do you say what do you they can say two letters together that's yeah. the problem like the people of Borishal they say you said plate they say billet okay okay so. Pneumonal ultra microscopic silico volcano coniosis. I are, can say it in a faster way. Do it? Yeah. Yeah. Do, do it? Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. I did. Okay, try. Pneumonal ultra microscopic silico volcano coniosis. Pneumonal ultra microscopic silico volcano coniosis. Right. How many letters are there? 40. Five letters. No, no. 40 and then five letters. <laughs> okay. And. Uh, uh, we can divide this whole long word into four parts. Four syllables, right? Like new mono. Ultra microscopic. Silico volcano. Coniosis. Mm. So in this way, you can memorize this. Mm -hmm. Now, what is the next activity? 
correct pronunciation of English alphabet in IPA. What does IPA stand for? International Phonetic Alphabet. So let's wow. go for this, right? So I think this would be really interesting, right? Yeah. So let's go for it. Like A. B. B E B. Yeah, B E B. S E C. D E D. E. F F. J E G. H H. I. J A J. K A K. L. It la l, it la l, it ma m, it ma m, it na n, it na n, o, p e p, k ya u q, a, it sa s, t e t, ya u u, v e v, da a ba la, ya u u, double u, da a ba la, double ya u u, w, i k sa x. Y I Y Z E D Z. How do the Americans pronounce this letter? A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R. Mm-hmm. Not R. Yeah. It's R. S T U V W X Y Z. Z. Yeah. That's why we call Z cinema. Yeah. Z Bangla. That's your favorite, I know. N- no. What? <laughs> My name's letter is Z, but you can tell that I love that. Uh, I know, I know. You are addicted to Z Bangla, Z cinema. So you, you are addicted to Y Bangla. My mom taught this actually. Do you know my mom? Is Zarin. What? How okay. how come I became a mom? Yeah. Okay. Now let's uh, go for the next activity. It's called kick out the word very. Okay. So shall we just uh, kick out the word very with our legs? No, with our mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How do you do that? Please teach me, okay? Okay. So instead of saying he's very genius, what can I say? You should have told me that instead of saying very, we should say another word. Mm-hmm. And kick out. Okay, don't oh, kick that's out the yet. way of how to kick out the yeah. word very. Okay, so you tell the sentence with very and I'll tell the next one. He's very genius. He's especially or incredibly genius. I'm very upset. I'm bitterly upset, though it's not true. My sister is very alone. My sister is completely alone. He's very ashamed. He is deeply ashamed. The subject is very new. The subject is entirely new. The area is very polluted. The area is heavily or much polluted. The place is very unhygienic. The place is hideously unhygienic. Mhm. Okay. The stuff are very skilled. The staff are highly skilled. That sounds nice. The party was very enjoyable. The party was highly enjoyable. And one more thing, you guys can enjoy the British English from him and the American English from me, okay? Mm. Who is him and who is me? Him is him and me is me. Oh, are you from China? Uh him is him is a name and me is me is a name. Yeah, this Chinese name. Yeah. My sister is very shy. My sister is painfully shy. This is very normal. This is perfectly normal. They are very rich. They are immensely rich. This is very surprising. This is totally surprising. Hiba is very slow. Hiba is painfully slow. He's very stupid. He's terribly stupid. <laughs> okay. Um, who is this he? Yeah, that's he. Yeah. Who? Yeah, who? Who? Yeah, who is very? Uh, I mean, stupid. Smart spoken is very enjoyable course. Smart spoken is a totally enjoyable course. The book is very helpful. The book is unbelievably helpful. So you said totally, right? Unbelievably. Where did you get the totally? There is no D here in the word totally. Yeah, according to American pronunciation, you have to convert the T to D. Uh, yeah, psychotic decision. Now, let's move on to the next activity. It's a motivational story. So give a presentation on it. Life is a gift. Hello everyone. Greetings. This is Aisha. 
Hope you are fit and fine. I'm also doing great. Today, I want to tell you a story called Life is a Gift. So let's begin. Today, before you think of saying an unkind word, think of someone who can't speak. Before you complain about the taste of your food, think of someone who has nothing to eat. Before you complain about your husband or wife, think of someone who is crying to Allah about losing a companion. Before you complain about your children, think of someone who desires children but can't have children. Before you argue about your house is dirty or how someone didn't clean or sweep, think of people who are homeless. Before whining about the distance you drive, think of someone who walks the same distance on their feet. And when you are tired and you complain about your job, think of the unemployed, the disabled, and those who wished they had your job. But before you think of pointing the finger or condemning another, remember that none of us are without sin. And when depressing thoughts seem to get you down, try your best to put a smile on your face and thank Allah you're still alive. Life is a gift. Enjoy it. Celebrate it. Hope you liked my story. Next time I will tell you another beautiful story so that you can stay positive. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Mm, that's nice. Okay. Let's go for the next activity, okay? The same thing we did in yeah, class 2. Just we will read it out and uh, they can understand how you use the vocabulary. So let's do the first table normally and let's do the second table with a dialogue. Mm -hmm. Just read this. Uh, we don't need to use he, she or it first. Okay. They understand that uh, with a male person you use he, with a female person you use she and if it is not he and she use it. That's it. Yeah. So, a recycled paper. So a refined. A recycled paper, you need to definitely use it, right? Yeah, yeah. Because it's not a he mm -hmm. or not a she. A refined book or a refined food. This is also uh, used in the case of it because it's non-living and we cannot just know the gender of it. So, we use it here. A regimented school. A regimented college. A regimented society. A regimented lifestyle. A related issue. A nice relaxed atmosphere. A renewed interest. A renewed enthusiasm. A repeated attempt. A repeated mistake. A repeated warning. A quite reserved woman. A quite reserved woman, meaning two qualities are there, right? Yeah. A highly respected politician. A highly respected doctor. A highly respected daily newspaper. A retired parent. A retired teacher. A retired army chief. A revised edition. Look, here if the word was only army chief, then we would have used the article and before it mm. because A starts with the vowel sound yeah, A. That's true. And here we have another word before army chief that means retired that means the adjective retired it describes the army ra. chief yeah so the and it starts a. with ra that's a consonant sound that's why we say a retired army chief yeah an ancient ruined castle a sacred relic uh, a sacred temple a salaried employee. A salaried worker. A salaried stuff. A satisfied smile. I mean, you can say scared of spiders. Uh, yeah, scared of spiders. Scared of snakes. Scared of lizards. Scared of leech. Okay, so what are you scared of? Me. I'm scared of you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. A scented notepaper. I love the scents of new books. Do mm, you know that? I do. A scented flower. A seasoned traveler. Seasoned a here meaning experienced. Okay. A scheduled beach. And the British say the scheduled, a scheduled beach. Yeah. A scheduled house. A scheduled place. A settled life. A settled marriage. A shattered glass, meaning broken glass. Yes. Yeah. A shocked silence. A skilled worker. A skilled job. 
a sliced bread a sliced ham a sli what is the difference between ham and normal meat well, ham is uh, from pork right yeah so that's not halal yeah right a uh, hamburger from ham Okay. okay, a sliced tomato. Do you like tomatoes I love in them. your fruit salad? I do, I do. I also do. A soiled cloth, meaning a dirty cloth. A stunned silence. Meaning very shocked silence. Mm -hmm. A never suited wife. A talented footballer. A talented pianist. A terrified child. A terrified baby. A terrified girl. Troubled region. Troubled time. A twisted ankle. An unannounced quiz. Sometimes you face this, right? Oh, don't ask me anything now. An unannounced test. An unannounced exam. I love this. Why? Because we can scare up the students. Oh, you are always in a bad... Um, I don't know. Attitude, yeah. Yeah. Remaining unanswered. An unauthorized signature. So let's continue this way. Okay. An unbiased advice. An unbiased opinion. An undecided question. Mm. An underdeveloped country. An underemployed young generation. An underemployed employee. An underemployed worker. An undisturbed sleep. Who doesn't like it, right? Mm -hmm. An uneducated girl. I hope she gets educated. Ekhane Bangla ekta shob doniye shi din sinte korte chalam riksha jao shmoy. Je manuske oshikhito bola thik na shole. Karon ita ek dhoron ekhub negative word bang manuske oshomman kora hoy. Zara shikha theke bonchito tadher ke amra shikha bonchito bolte pari. Ha? Uni oshikhito na bolle uni shikha bonchito. So ekhane ekto shomman podoshona. Jemon ke uchcha kore kintu shikha nei nei amonta. Examples the yeah, it hote never pare. happens usually. Yeah. So I'm rabble to pari or shikito puribote. Shikabunchito. And yeah. what if we translate this word shikabunchito into English? What will be the word? Education deprived child. Yeah, this should be. Because there are many children who are deprived of education. Mm. Like that day I was going to school, my mom was buying vegetables, and you know what? A child younger than me was selling the vegetables. He didn't wish to do that, but he has to do because of the crisis he, he's facing, right? Okay, now let's go for the next one. An unexplored territory. An unfinished work. An unfurnished accommodation. A united effort. That's, that's lovely. An unmanned mission. An unmanned spacecraft. Unmarried girl. An unskilled worker. Or an unskilled maid. An unsolved mystery. There are lots of unsolved mysteries in the world yeah. related to science and many more. An untouched area. An untrained stuff. An unused car. You bought an expensive car and you didn't use it, so mm. that's a waste of money, right? Yeah. An unwanted email, like I get many unwanted emails from you, right? <laughs> really? <huh? laughs> no, it's not true. I get wanted emails from him, but sometimes I think that maybe I can tell the viewers I get unwanted emails from him and I just can roast him a little, but I can never do that. <laughs> Silly girl. A valued customer. A varied group of people. A much wanted baby. Who? You. Why? Because you are an angel. Who told you? Yeah, who? That's who. From China. I mean the person who told you, yes, right? No more. <laughs> okay. A wooden hill. A wretched childhood. Really zonked out. Mm -hmm. Meaning really tired, right? Yeah. An air-conditioned face. A bad-tempered person. Who? Me, actually. I'm bad-tempered. No, no, you're not bad-tempered. Like, suppose the man called... Zai my Sai is a has a bad eye. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a rhyme. The man called Zai my Sai has a bad eye, and he's he always tells a lie. <laughs> a bite-sized piece. That's nice. A broken heart. So buzzed of, meaning I'm so buzzed of, meaning I'm so excited. That's a very nice phrase. A cold-blooded murderer. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, murderer. Uh, a dewy-eyed bride. 
empty handed. Mm hmm. A fair minded employer. A foul mouthed person. I mean, who speak ill of others and who yeah, use yeah. bad who language bad slangs. A foul mouthed person. A fresh faced. Uh, 18, young, and 18 and 19 year old soldier. Year old soldier yeah. A good hearted person. A high powered motorbike. A high powered computer. I want this. Mm -hmm. You'll buy one definitely one day. Inshallah. Mm -hmm. Inshallah. A high speed train or ferry or computer. Mm. A lion hearted boss like me. Mm hmm. I know who is the cat and who is the lion, right? <laughs> yeah. So a long awaited verdict. In the court, actually. A yeah. lot of kids. A one sided contest or game. Mm. A pocket sized dictionary. People have, have those like one thousand and one million and infinity pocket sized dictionaries at home, okay? Mm. A self centered person. Like. Like not us. Okay. <laughs> like not us. Okay, a self-confessed killer or mm. murderer. Bad, bad, bad. A self-employed builder. A self-employed person. A self-employed member. A self-employed girl. A self-employed man. A self-employed woman. That's I cool, got cool, the cool. words I wanted to tell. Yeah, who is that? Um, builder. No, no, no. Person, girl, woman. Mm -hmm. Now? Now what? Now what, yeah. Thank you. Thanks for listening. Thank Bye. you so much, everybody.